Hey folks, how's it going? This is Dominic here from everyone. Welcome to this edition of the Fish of the Week. Uh, this week we're going to take a look at a phishing campaign that's been hitting our customer and this campaign is actually pretty simple. It's a encrypted Word document uh, with the password in the body of the message that's just been sent around. Uh, the challenge that we see with these messages is that most solutions out there will just stop at the encrypted attachment and then just give up, meaning they'll just mark it as encrypted and then really pass it on to the user to make the decision if this is really bad or not. Um, the, what we really want the system to be able to do is identify really the threat behind those and prevent those emails from being delivered in the first place. So what we'll do today is we'll actually take a look at some of these uh, at these two emails here in particular and see what's going on with them. So let's get fished here. So here are the two emails and uh, what I've done ahead of time here is just kind of pull out the the two attachments. So one of them has this contract document and the other one has this resume in it. And um, and I've actually loaded those two directly into Virus Total to see, you know, what, what does the uh, industry know about this? And, you know, as expected here, uh, both of these attachments came out clean, mainly because uh, Virus Total just doesn't know anything about it or just can't decrypt it because it is encrypted. Uh, the, the thing that we'll take a look here is we'll let's uh, dive into those attachments. So we'll take a, a open source tool here called OpenVBA, and then we're just gonna take a look at the code that sits in uh, these two attachments here. So here we can see that uh, this first contract document here uh, not only contains you know some obfuscated code here, but also is trying to pull down this uh, this one.exe file from uh, this IP address. And again here you know I've loaded it in ahead of time in virus total, and then we can clearly see that this attachment is uh, this exe file is actually pretty bad. Um, and very similar to here, if we take a look at the resume file, right, we'll see that it is actually showing. Uh, the same attachment here, where it, uh, the same file here being downloaded from the same location. So we clearly know this is more or less coming from the same campaign. So how do these campaigns work, right? So well, one, you know, these emails are business oriented emails, right? So when you receive them, you know, if they're relevant, very likely you're gonna get to open them. Uh, you know, they contain an encrypted attachments which gives the user the perception that, you know, the information is important um, and it's confidential. So, um, you know, and everybody, uh, you know, wants to do their job properly here. And often the other thing that we see is that these emails will originate from compromised accounts. Uh, so, uh, you know, the email may come from a trusted sender here. So how do we get ahead of these phishing campaigns? So one, uh, from a technology perspective, uh, Area One gets ahead of these campaigns by uh, looking at uh, phishing campaigns, uh, by proactively crawling the internet, by using our active sensor network to discover these threats sitting out there. With that comes advanced detection technologies, right? So as I mentioned, when this email comes from a compromised, inf uh, compromised account, right, it'll pass email authentication. So we look beyond that. So we look beyond uh, DKIM, SPF, DMARC, uh, to make sure that the email itself is legitimate. We look at content, so we do uh, analysis of the message. We have natural language processing models that identify what this message is all about. And finally, as we saw here, uh, we have the ability to decrypt uh, encrypted messages, especially if the message does, sh if the password does show up in the message here. So we'll smartly tokenize the body of the email, figure out which one is the password, and then use that to crack the file open. And the moment we can crack it, we can run it through standard detection. Uh, we, we even go a step deeper here where if the password is uh, in an image because we have seen campaigns that do look like that uh, will OCR that image file again find the password and crack the file open so if this is a problem that you guys are having you know, please, please feel free to contact us you can reach us at everyonesecurity.com or you can reach us at demo at everyonesecurity.com and we'd be happy to help you thank you and have a great day